for. Well, <laughs> thank you, Vika. Uh, thanks uh, for, to everyone to, for coming here. And uh, uh, I also I see that uh, most people here are from Armenia, and also if. Uh, uh, they are not uh, necessarily specialized in Armenian history. Of course, they know very much the history. But on the other hand, I did uh, I, I, tr I tried to organize a lecture in order to be also understood by uh, uh, by no no specialist of Armenian history on uh, or generally speaking or Armenian studies. So, as uh, I was asked to deliver a paper uh, in English, uh, all the translations will be presented in uh, uh, in English. That is, uh, uh, and uh, and the and the, in the slides I did not get the time to uh, to uh, to put on also the original text. But uh, of course, for the specialist, it will not be a problem. So I decided to uh, uh, to concentrate uh, on uh, a, a very important period for the history of Armenia but for the history of Iran as well and uh, what is interesting is that uh, for uh, the uh, uh, evidence concerning uh, the, the the kings uh, Yazgird the first and Vahram uh, the, the fifth. Uh, the, uh, the Armenian uh, evidence, written evidence, is particularly important because uh, uh, the sources, mostly Moses Horenatsi, Razar Parpetsi, and uh, Yarishe. And of course, uh, but we also could uh, uh, speak of the later medieval uh, authors uh, who uh, uh, considered uh, this, the, the former sources in uh, this, uh, in, uh, uh, in in their in their accounts, uh, that uh, gave uh, paid uh, attention. Uh, to the situation in Ctesiphon, that is uh, the Sassanid court. Uh, on the other hand, we cannot say to have the same uh, situation for the classical uh, sources, so mostly Greek, but also uh, Latin in, uh, in, uh, uh, as well. And that gives a sort of general problem for the historians who are not particularly uh, connected, who uh, are not particularly into Armenian studies. There is a general problem about Armenian sources, so the idea is to consider them more unreliable than uh, the classical so proto-Byzantine uh, source and uh, on the other hand, uh, also the uh, Iranian sources, I will uh, give a general account in order to uh, let uh, you understand how uh, the Armenian evidence is uh, not to be uh, rejected and dismissed. Uh, for the people uh, uh, for who for uh, are not uh, not easy with uh, the timeline of Armenian history, it is worth uh, considering the main uh, day, uh, chronological dates uh, concerning the uh, not uh, the uh, all the Armenian people, also the Armenians who were. Uh, uh, resided in an, other states, but especially uh, on the uh, Kingdom of Greater Armenia. Kingdom of Greater Armenia that, uh, uh, as far as we know, uh, was uh, uh, first uh, uh, founded uh, after 
uh, the, uh, the, the end of the war uh, between uh, the Romans and the Seleucid Empire. Uh, but in fact, uh, we could also see that uh, this change of status of the kings uh, was uh, uh, not uh, changing very much uh, the general uh, situ uh, social uh, situation, and especially also the, uh, uh, the, the importance of uh, a, uh, the, the, the main ruler of the country, in, if we look at the situation in the Achaemenid and the Seleucid em, um, Empire, we will see that uh, the, uh, uh, the independence of Armenia was uh, uh, all, uh, already considered. But uh, also, uh, the history of Armenia uh, could not be uh, separated from the history of media as uh, until the uh, until Alexander the Great, but uh, in fact we are going uh, to speak uh, uh, about uh, on on the end of the uh, uh, kingdom of, of Greater uh, Armenia, uh, but it is worth noting to understand how this kingdom was developed uh, because it's position in the uh, geopolitical axis, especially between uh, the space controlled by Rome and the space controlled by Iran, uh, was much more complex as, uh, 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 as uh, uh, some uh, um, tradition, uh, says the traditional views of historians with the uh, 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 older categories of buffer states, uh, of protectorate, and all this sort of thing. It was a kingdom, it was a kingdom with uh, uh, independent status and with a very complicated histo history uh, uh, in, in uh, uh, the, the, the geopolitical end. What are we uh, 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 working about is the uh, end of the uh, end of, uh, of the kingdom of greater armenia and especially after the uh, division of uh, uh, the, the, the kingdom into two zones and as a side effect of uh, a treaty of peace signed uh, um, around the, uh, the year 387, but it was a very complicated uh, diplomatic uh, uh, negotiation. The uh, first uh, uh, in characters of uh, this uh, period are uh, 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 em uh, emperors, the most, the most powerful man in uh, the uh, the ancient world that is uh, Yazgird the first and Arcadius was the emperor of the eastern part of the Roman Empire. We cannot uh, uh, yet speak of a, a Byzantine Empire, uh, but uh, uh, in, in but in, in fact uh, we it is uh, more more correct to speak of Eastern uh, Rome, and uh, uh, on the other hand, uh, what what was the situation in Armenia? No, we have no portrait of King Vram Shapu, uh, who was king uh, uh, of. First Armenia and uh, 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 after this treaty of peace. In, in fact, uh, this uh, uh, see, uh, the, the situation uh, becomes particularly interesting uh, after uh, the beginning of the reign of Ziasgird uh, the first, uh, who exceeded to the throne of the Persian Empire in 399. Uh, by this uh, uh, 
time, uh, uh, Persian Armenia, or Pers Armenia, this is a Latin uh, uh, term, was still an independent kingdom, ruled by Vranshapur. Uh, only some territories of Western Armenia were under the direct control of Constantinople, albeit with a margin of autonomy. The division of the country in two uneven uh, sectors was a result of the Treaty of uh, 387. That the Armenian uh, sources consider a nefarious pact between the Romans and the Persians uh, to weaken the Armenian kingdom and bring it to decay and uh, ruin. We have uh, uh, the evidence uh, of the Buzandaran uh, the epic histories uh, attributed to uh, some uh, uh, Faustus of Byzantium, uh, which uh, uh, in, uh, in the last uh, book uh, of uh, this uh, uh, this work uh, that uh, actually starts starts with the third book, and uh, uh, the, 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 in, uh, as a matter of, in my opinion, uh, the first book was the primary history, the, sec the, uh, the second was Segatangelus in the canon of, 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 of early Armenian historiography. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, the epic history says that envoys and messengers of the two kings of the Greeks and the Persians went back and forth from one to on, uh, the other, which is uh, uh, actually clear, clear. It was a very long negotiation and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, finally, uh, they confirmed a plan to redivide the realm in two. And so the uh, commentary of uh, uh, the epic histories is uh, the result of a kingdom diminished, uh, divided, and scattered, and it declined from its greatness at that time and thereafter. According to the late Roman and early Byzantine, evidence, the division was settled um, under Theodosius I in uh, the Armenian tradition. By contrast, Moses uh, Horenetsi attributed this division not to Theodosius the Great, uh, dead in uh, 395, by, uh, by his son Arcadius. In uh, uh, this is a contrast, uh, Horenazzi attributes uh, the division to Arcadius and Shapu. Shapu is Shabur the third. And uh, however, this uh, Moses often confuses names and chronology, so we cannot exclude the possibility that he has somehow attributed agreements signed under Theodosius the first to his son. Although uh, so, um, modern historians, especially late antique specialists, consider Horenazzi as an unreliable uh, author, nonetheless, uh, they concede that if this notice has any value at all, it probably refers to a reconfirmation of existing treaties in 395 when Arcadius became sole ruler of the eastern part of the Roman Empire. There can no doubt that Horenazzi is chronologically confused or inconsistent in his coverage of earlier periods. Nonetheless, in the last part of his history, of Armenia is more accurate and should be not so easily dismissed. Procopius, who drew his information from an Armenian source, recapitulates the story as follows. 
and for a time the territory of the Armenians was fought over by the Romans and the Persians, but at length they reached an agreement that uh, the Persians should uh, hold the portion of Tigranes and the Romans that of Arsakis. Uh, the Armenian uh, evidence speak of King Khusro. Uh, in uh, fact, I have the impression that Procopius here is not making a mistake, but he, he is just considering Tigranes as a sort of title such as it was Caesar, Kaiser, or Arsakis, that was uh, a title of uh, any Arsakis uh, kings. Uh, it, at any rate, on these conditions, a truce was agreed upon by both sides, and thereafter, the Roman Emperor always appointed a ruler for the Armenians, whomever he wished and whenever he wished. And they used to call this ruler, even to my time, the Count of Armenia, the Comes Armenia, that was a, a, a military uh, Roman uh, governor. Uh, the long-standing stand, uh, rivalry uh, between Romans and Persians over Armenia was settled for some time. Arcadius uh, imposed uh, Yazgird, a point of Yazgird with the honorary title of tutor, Epitropos, for his son Theodosius II, born in 401. Although uh, the Byzantine uh, uh, historian Agassias rejects this account, this seems to be a diplomatic gesture to confirm peace. And when Arcadius died in 408, and the seven-year-old prince uh, became uh, uh, emperor, so Theodosius II, the situation did not change. In fact, during the first years of Theodosius' reign, the Eastern Empire was ruled by some distinguished court dignitaries. One of them was Anthemius, the Praetorian prefect of the East, who knew well the Sasanians. He had a mem been a member of one embassy to Persia in 383. And uh, Anthemius, uh, uh, moreover, was the uh, promo uh, promoter of a law uh, enacted between the Eastern Empire uh, and Persia and confirmed uh, er earlier legislation. According to this law, the former royal residence at Artaxata was the only Armenian city where a Roman trader could do business with a Persian. By these measures, uh, Constantinople and Persia strengthened their peaceful relations. The Armenian sources, you can see here, the main uh, trade trading places where uh, the law allowed allowed the uh, uh, traders to arrive so that was uh, uh, by by the by this time and the uh, Armenian capital was already Dvin and then we had the frontier uh, city of Nisibis and the uh, Syrian uh, city of uh, Kalinikos. Uh, uh, at the same time, uh, 
so Moses Horenetsi says that after the death of Arcadius, his successor Theodosius II made peace with Yazgert, so the Armenian rendering of Yazgird. At the same time, he did not entrust the Roman sector of Armenia to the Armenian king Vramshapur, and uh, who ruled the Persa Armenia after the dethronement of his brother Khosro, the, so the Armenian variant for the Iranian name Khosro, by Shabur III. On uh, his side, Yazgird I was planning a definitive occupation of the Arsakid kingdom. Hazar uh, Parpizi makes uh, make this plain uh, when uh, he introduces him in uh, uh, chapter 12 of his history. In fact, Yazgirt did, he says, did not wish to allow any member of the Arsican family to rule over Armenia. This is uh, an important uh, uh, situation, so the dynastic uh, tensions uh, already uh, easy to, uh, consider, to consider uh, and uh, that uh, after the uh, rise of the Sassanians. And uh, as a matter of fact, for Iran, uh, the uh, uh, persistence of uh, a of uh, the Arsakid uh, dynasty could be uh, some uh, uh, of some generate some uh, trouble in the Iranian uh, Empire, as we can also see in the chronicle uh, uh, preserved at the very beginning of the Agatangelos uh, history uh, that uh, was also translated into Greek uh, into the 6th uh, uh, century with uh, some variants coming from Sasanian uh, uh, sources. It's, uh, it is a, a complicated situation that shows how uh, the uh, uh, the stakes of this geopolitical uh, uh, balance uh, were in a, a great part coming from dynastic uh, uh, um, uh, uh, issues. So, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, nevertheless, after Vramshapur's uh, death, Yazgird agreed to release the Armenian king, uh, Hosro. Then a prisoner in uh, uh, sorry, then a prisoner in uh, the infamous castle of Oblivion in uh, Susiana. But Hosro reigned only eight months. After Hosro's death, Yazgird finally appointed his own son, Sh Shapu, so in fact, Shabur, king of the Armenians, plotting to form an alliance with the Greek emperor, that is Theodosius, and oust the Christianized Arsakids from Armenia. Khazar Parpetsi explains that the king was worried about the possibility of a reunification of Armenia, as he thought that uh, perhaps they would uh, become sympathetic to each other like brothers, that is, those who were under our rule and those under Greek rule and then trusting in each other and forming an alliance, they might treat for peace with the Greek emperor and willingly becoming subject to him might rebel against us. This is a, a very fine uh, analysis of the diplomatic uh, uh, 
situation by the time. And I'm still puzzled when I see late antique historians uh, uh, trying to not to consider uh, very deeply uh, this uh, uh, this evidence although they could they can they can uh, uh, see read this text in modern uh, translations uh, so according to Horenazzi uh, Yasgard uh, conceived uh, the malicious intention that thus, by being continually with him, with Shabur, the Nahara, Naharar, that is the highest, highest nobleman of the kingdom, might become attached to him so that he might be able to seduce them to the Mazdian religion, whereby they would be completely separated from the Greeks. However, Shabu did not uh, uh, succeed in his task, since he was unable to win over the minds of, of the Naharar, since the, who all hated him. Nor did they honor him in royal fashion in the hunt or at sport. Uh, Horenazi relates uh, 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 three anecdotes uh, where Shabur is outmatched by Armenian noblemen, by Atom of Mok during a wild ass hunting trip, by Shavasp Arzruni at a mall match. So the Arzruni were not so uh, far from uh, uh, the Mok. And uh, finally, uh, by Khosro Garman Tsi, who success successfully. Uh, resisted the king's order to arrest him for drunken behavior during a royal banquet. It is worth noting that this princess came from, from the borders of Greater Armenia. The district of Mok uh, uh, was located southeast of the Lake Van, near to the land of the Arzruni, whereas the district of Gardaman was located in the region of Utik at the border with Caucasian Albania. The accession of Shabur to the Armenian throne uh, can be dated by uh, 416, as Horenazzi says that Shabur reigned in uh, ignominy for four years, then received a message announcing Yazgir's illness and returned in haste to Ktesifut, ordering to his general to arrest the Naharar and bring them to Persia. On his arrival at Ktesifun, Yazgir died and a cabal of courtiers eventually had Shabur killed. After the death of Shabur, Persia remained without a king. According to Hazar Parpetsi, the Naharar asked the new king, Bahram, in Armenian, Vram, for an Arsakid king. The Shah Shah gave his consent and allowed uh, Artashes uh, to uh, the son of Ranshapu to be king of the Armenians. But uh, the story was uh, uh, more complicated than that. Uh, in a brief chapter, Horenazi shows that when Shabur was killed at Tesfu, the Armenian Naharar rebelled against the Persians and gave them battle under the command of the general Nerses uh, Chishrakatsi. Uh, the Persians were defeated, their general was killed by another Naharar, Upper Sam Spantuni, and the Vanandatsi clan from northwestern uh, Armenia showed particular heroism and courage. Thus, says uh, Horenazi, 
our land remained in anarchy for three years with tumult and great confusion and was ruined and despoiled. Therefore, taxes were not paid to the court, the roads were closed to the common people, and all the organization was thrown into confusion and destroyed. In uh, those days, Vram II, that is uh, uh, Vahrama V, became king of Persia. And he sought vengeance from our land. He made peace with the Greeks and did not approach their sector. The last sentence clearly shows that these operations were strictly connected to the East Roman Persian War of 421 422. According to our sources, Varama continued the persecution of Christians started already started by Yazgird. Theodosius II, deeply influenced by his sister Pulcheria, undertook a sort of crusade against the Persians, who, moreover, had detained Roman merchants and seized their properties. Ardabur, the Magister Utriusque Militiae per Orientem, so the general in chief for, uh, uh, for the East, sent to Purse Armenia his uh, general Anatolius, where he joined the Armenian rebels. Meanwhile, Ardabur entered the Persian territory and devastated the border region of the Arzanene west of Lake Van, where so the site of the ancient capital by Tigran, Tigranokert. And uh, meanwhile, Vahram V <coughs> besieged Theodosiopolis, that is uh, in Armenian, Karin, uh, and present day Erzurum, uh, by order of Theodosius II. The Hannic threat, threat in the uh, Balkans forced Theodosius to interrupt the successful war in 422. One of the side effects of the peace was the enthronement of the Ersekid Artashes, a son of Vram Shapu, as the last Armenian king of Greater Armenia. The main sources, Moses and Hazar, do not mention very much this war. Uh, on the other hand, they offer parallel accounts on uh, the ring of Artashes, strictly connected to the end of Greater Armenian in 428. Uh, Moses uh, connects Artashes' enthronement with Roman military operations waged by Anatolius, who had come up close to our borders. Therefore, the Armenian nobles gathered up under the control of Sahak the Great, the patriarch of the Armenian church. At this very moment, Horinelsi introduces Vram, so this is Vram, who knew that uh, without the Armenian Naharar, he could not hold the country. Sahak crossed over to the province of uh, Ayrarat and bringing together all the nobility sent, but uh, the Aspet, so the chief of the cavalry, and Vardan, the general, his grandson, to the court of the Persian king. The latter confirmed the treaty sealed an edict of amnesty for crimes and at their request made Artashes, Ramshapur's son, king. Now there is a, a interesting uh, uh, detail. Horinazzi says that Artashes, uh, 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 that, uh, that Varam changed the name, Artashes' name to Artashir. Uh, 
entrusting the land of Armenia to him without the Persian governor, and he reigned for six years. As a matter of fact, uh, Ardashir is only the, uh, uh, the Middle Persian uh, variant of the same name that uh, uh, that in uh, in old Persians the, uh, were uh, uh, pronounced in the same way that the Greeks uh, understood as Artaxerxes, and that in Armenia was the name of Artaxerxes. In fact, it is the same name, <laughs> and. Um, in, uh, uh, in, uh, but uh, it is uh, worth noting this uh, name uh, swapping as uh, a uh, biased uh, consideration by Moses Horenetsi. And on the other hand, Horenetsi was possibly uh, looking at uh, a translation of uh, a Persian uh, document where actually Artaxerxes was, uh, uh, was uh, named in the same way Artaxerxes. But on the other hand, uh, uh, considering uh, the uh, met methodology of the scribes who could uh, make, uh, easily make the translation, this is a detail that needs uh, some attention. Omitting uh, all these uh, details, Sorry, uh, Razar Parpetsi merely says uh, that the nobles of Armenia came before Vram, king of Persia, and requested the king from the Arsakid family, and that Vram appointed Artashes. So uh, Razar Parpetsi prefers not to uh, go into details. These events can be connected to the Gahnamak, so the Book of Rank. A list which attests of 70 Armenian freemen and magnates, so Hayots, Azatats, Yev, Tanuterans, uh, and their uh, ranking at the royal banquet. The list is introduced by a letter allegedly sent by Sahak from Ktesiphon to Artashes. According to the, this letter, at the request of this, this, his king, Sahak sent a letter where he asked, let your beneficence give the order to make for your archives a list of Armenian freemen and magnates, just as it was formerly in the Armenian nation, so that henceforth the ga, so the in fact, the cautions of the royal banquet, uh, banquet uh, of the Armenian uh, free men and uh, magnates be known. He claims to have read a document in the Persian archives that he calls Ramakan Nama, possibly Razmakan Namak, a military list and attributes to a king called Artashir, possibly the second, uh, this, uh, uh, the introduction of this, uh, this, uh, this rank, or rank or rank order. Then he says that he wrote his letter in the 17th day of the month Karotz, so the 26th of December, in the fifth year of Ram, king of kings and benefactors. In the conclusion of the letter, Sahak claims to have signed and sealed the document with the Persian king's seal equally at the order of Narses, uh, king of kings. Uh, and uh, so, Nuin Pes, Nerse, Hramanav, Archaids, Archaid. As the only Sasanian king with this name, Ner reigned between 293 and 302. This notice uh, raises uh, uh, a problem. And uh, so it was also uh, uh, pointed out uh, by the late Babkian uh, Harutunian. In the Gahnamak, uh, their families have respectively placed six, uh, so, sorry, uh, in um, 
Despite uh, its disgusted chronology, the Gardnamak gives further evidence of Persian involvement in Armenian affairs at this time. It is worth noting connections between the list and the names found in Horinazi's mentions of the three noblemen who challenged the authority of the Persian king Shabur, Atom of Mok, Shavasp Arthurni, and Hosro Gardmansi. So you remember this uh, map. And in the Gahnamak, their families have respectively placed 6, 3, and 23. As for the heroes of the Armenian rebellion, the valiant of Ananda Tsi uh, holds a place 14 and 61 for the cadet line, whereas the Spantuni occupy a lower rank, the 51st place, and the Gijrakatsi are not even mentioned. But uh, so this is another business. Uh, both uh, 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 Horenzi and uh, Razar Parpezzi criticize uh, Artashes licentious uh, attitude. According to Horenzi, all the Naharars became disgusted with him and invited Zahak to support them in deposing him and bring instead the Persian as lord of this country. This is an old story we already uh, fi uh, uh, find uh, in uh, uh, Arsakid, uh, um, even before the Arsakid uh, uh, Armenia. And uh, that uh, in, in it is narrated not only by Armenian sources, but also by Tacitus. Uh, then uh, Sahak proposed to wait until they could arrange a solution with Theodosius the uh, second. And uh, uh, according to Moses, all the Nahara, uh, so, uh, uh, but the nobles refused and went to Varam to slander both Artashes and Sahak, who were summoned at Ktesitur. At first, Varam asked his Hazarapet, so a member of the Suren Parlav family, to convince Sahak to set his grandson Vardan over the Armenians with a rank and dignity equal to that of a king. At Sahak's arrogant refusal, Varam held an inquiry in the great court and paying no heed to uh, um, Artashira, that is Artashes, he eagerly listened to his detractors. Finally, he ordered him to be stripped of his crown and imprisoned as well as Sahak. Uh, then he sent back the Naharas with the new ruler, a Persian Marsban called Vehmir uh, Shapu. And uh, Hazara gives a same, similar account, but insists on the fact that, that the Persians uh, had already decided to remove the monarchy from the Arsakid uh, family, especially because the king of the Aryans, with uh, all uh, the nobles, had heard from the accusers of Artashes, what further need is there of a king, let the Persian prince uh, so Ishkhan Parsik, uh, come to be our uh, governor, Verakatsu. When he, he discovered the submission or the non-submission of each one of us, he will inform you. And that was the end of Greater Armenia. So uh, although the Persian annexation of Greater Armenia was a result of a treaty signed under Bahram V, winter 427-428, by Theodosius II's ambassador Flavius Dionysius, any understanding of the event needs to take account of its significance for the internal history of Armenia. Whereas for the non-Armenian sources, the removal 
of the Arsacid dynasty was a non-event, the Armenian sources exaggerate the scale of the event. And so do I. In my book, uh, so on 428, uh, so this is the latest uh, ch slightly changed uh, edition, but of course, if you don't read the French, you can uh, look at the English uh, uh, edition by Princeton University Press. And this is perfectly summed up at the very beginning of the history of Yerichet, a chapter that was further uh, 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 reused by medieval Armenian uh, uh, chronicles. On the extinction of the Arsacid line, the race of Sassan and the Persian ruled over Armenia. They governed their empire by the religion of the Magi and frequently fought against those who would not submit to the same religion. Beginning from the years of King Arshak, son of Tiran, they waged war up to the sixth year of Artashes, king of Armenia, the son of Ramshapu. And when they had deprived him of his kingdom, ruled path to the Armenian Nakharaz. So it is another uh, point of view, maybe not necessarily the uh, uh, the most, uh, the, le the less by bias, but it's worth uh, noting uh, the representation of uh, the uh, um, uh, Persian and uh, East Roman uh, emperors from a particular point of view that uh, shows uh, the use of of most reliable uh, sources. I think uh, we, uh, we will uh, have uh, to work fortally because uh, so my book on 428 was only considering uh, at the very beginning the side effects of the end of Greater Armenia, but it could be interesting at the same time uh, to uh, put together our information for a period that gives uh, us a, a very uh, uh, an inc incredibly uh, uh, rich amount uh, uh, of uh, uh, historical commenters. Of course, I did not have the time uh, uh, to consider also the role of the ch Armenian church this is very important that it was uh, 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 it was considered by the uh, uh, by the Armen uh, uh, Ar Ar Armenian historians, but there was not the time. I think this is the time uh, to stop. I thank you uh, very much for your. Uh, uh, for your uh, attention, and uh, uh, so I don't, I don't know, I let Vika know what happens now, if uh, there will be a, uh, uh, some interventions in chat or not, but anyway, we'll be glad to as well and precise uh, some points. Thank you, Justo. Thank you for this uh, illuminating presentation. And uh, I'm very happy that our uh, uh, series of lectures dedicated to the 25th anniversary of Iran and the Caucasus is open with your lecture. One of those who contributed much into the standing, into the becoming, into the formation of this journal. And uh, therefore, I, I consider your today's presentation as a as a, as a fortunate uh, sign, as a fortunate sign for us. Bari Nishan, Bari Nishan, my friend. Bari Nishan, it's for me a great honor for us. So if, uh, if there, there are any questions, please. Arcel Khan, Karavak Arcel Hayrental, where the professor Justo Traina is a good commander of Armenian, he knows Armenian very well. And also he knows, 
He knows Russian, so you can speak either Russian or Armenian if you don't want to speak English. So please. Arze Chunek. I will love Haskanu Mema Hayeren to can Russere. They love Iron Arze Chunek. Iron Arze Chunek in Gernet. So one. Just, just one point I wanted to stress, to uh, mention, is the Artashis and Artashir. So these are, as you said uh, rightly, these are uh, the same name, but Artashir is uh, the Hippocoristicon from Artashis, Hippocoristicon from Artashis. So with Shir, or, or with Ir, suffix Ir. There are many names with such uh, such structure in, in Iranian uh, onomasticon. So, so this is the uh, 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 fact. Artashir and Artashes. Uh, and uh, so, one question, uh, please: What is the exact? Uh, what was the exact uh, location of this uh, castle of oblivion? Well, uh, in uh, Tuziana or other places. I heard that, that it was in uh, somewhere near Nishabur or. or other. Yes, that was the uh, they said. In uh, in fact, uh, the, 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 there is an interesting story about this castle or, or oblivion, and I studied it uh, <clears throat> several years ago, more, more or less twenty years ago. And uh, in fact, the the, 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 the this is uh, no, the location of the castle uh, should uh, should should be uh, should be there. And uh, I'm not uh, I don't know if uh, now Iranian archaeologists are making prospections about that. But in the 19th century, that uh, uh, some um, uh, some um, some uh, uh, some. Uh, 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 some hypotheses were formulated uh, and uh, cited by Rawlinson, but with not uh, uh, not a lot of evidence. But maybe I am not aware uh, of what uh, uh, what happens now in uh, Sasanian archaeology. But what is interesting is not uh, the, say, the the story of oblivion, because uh, in 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 fact, uh, so also the Greek. Uh, uh, sources, Byzantine sources, uh, speak of uh, oblivion, and uh, that uh, that uh, that comes uh, from uh, 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 an, uh, from the Armenian Anhush, uh, that uh, we have Anush in uh, in uh, in um, in uh, uh, the manuscripts of uh, of Faustus. So uh, I'm, uh, uh, but, uh, but possibly the mid the, the Middle Persian name uh, uh, had uh, some uh, di um, some different uh, 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 different meanings, and uh, the Armenian the Armenians preferred to use this interpretation of Anush and uh, as something that must not be mentioned in order to make to make the story and the legend of this uh, this fortress and especially the the the, the story of the banquet of a final banquet of um, uh, Arsha, uh, Arshak, Arshak which you can yeah. find in in uh, in uh, Procopius and but already in um, in in uh, a slightly different uh, different form in uh, uh, the in the Buzandaran so that, uh, uh, that 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 uh, that means uh, at par in um, particular interest interest of Armenian sources in all the realia, and uh, if uh, if I, I I can put another thing, it's, it's interesting because uh, uh, some uh, some years ago Philippe Genou was saying that the Sasanians had no archives because it was contrary to their religion. religion. But then, if we look at, well, of course, the seals from uh, uh, as archaeological evidence, but all the evidence of Armenian uh, uh, literary sources speaking about archive documents, we have to conclude that maybe ironologists should uh, be um, uh, so, uh, get, get off their usual uh, uh, dimensions, uh, uh, mostly uh, focusing on religious texts 
and considering also other uh, other sources and which is uh, more interesting is that they prefer to look at the greek and, La um, and latin sources but uh, uh, but, but uh, uh, interest into armenian sources is quite recent recent uh, 20 years ago aeronologists didn't i think they did not want to uh, to learn armenian yes um, thank you thank you Arthur Khan and Kenneth. Anybody has questions? Go ahead. Arthur Chunes, go ahead. Go ahead, Akopian, Arthur Chunes. Ari. But what is the situation with uh, the study of Armenian now in, in uh, the so-called orientalistic circles of the West? Uh, the, they, well, they try to, to learn Armenian or what? What is the as situ as position concerns, of Armenian? As, concern, uh, as concerns uh, uh, history now, so um, some, uh, some progress was made uh, uh, by the, cent uh, the center uh, uh, of Irvine, California, by Turash Darye, who, uh, who, who also managed uh, to found a chair of Armenian studies in his own universities. This is a very important. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. On the other hand, the real uh, the, the real problem is that it is very difficult in this uh, world of over specialization. Uh, to put uh, uh, colleagues of the same disciplines uh, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, discussing uh, on the same issues from different points of view. And, uh, and uh, in, our, in Western Armenian studies are still uh, much more parochial. Uh, it also depends on the fact that they are focusing on the language and the story of Armenian uh, philology, and so in, it's uh, when it uh, it, it, it comes uh, speaking of other realities, uh, they usually they, they don't always understand the. In, also, but uh, there, there is some progress. Younger people are more elastic uh, than uh, than uh, than before. The, the, another problem is the level because when it takes them. Um, so my field is late antiquity. I'm not uh, into early medieval study, and uh, in uh, anti uh, in uh, late antiquity has a huge bibliography. So the real problem is that sometimes uh, Armenian scholars uh, who look at the text uh, actually don't know uh, the uh, um, uh, the literature on late antique. On the other uh, on the other hand, the late antique scholars uh, uh, are um, uh, uh, are a little scared when they uh, uh, when they get clo closer to other linguistic domains. But we, we could see uh, say the same thing for um, uh, for uh, uh, for Georgian. Which and Georgian sources give uh, um, bigger problems uh, that Armenian sources for many uh, reasons, but uh, um, and some exceptions are now made by Syriac because uh, Syriac scholars uh, are uh, making uh, progress, uh, and um, uh, and then for the uh, for the uh, uh, for the rest is just a question of curiosity and goodwill. Yeah, thank you. Yes, but uh, but but you said that Georgian uh, sources are much more richer than Armenian sources. No, no, more How difficult. More difficult. More difficult. Huh? Yeah, the, yeah. The problem of the chronicles is that we have uh, some evidence, but uh, so this evidence uh, faced uh, mm -hmm. and uh, re uh, recollection and uh, rewriting. Uh, uh, that uh, makes it uh, very difficult to, to understand uh, what uh, actually happens. And of course, the chronology is uh, sometimes uh, uh, very scattered. But on, 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 on the other hand, we could say the same thing for Armenian history uh, for the pre-Christian uh, period, when the main source is uh, Moses Korenazi, uh, that, that gives uh, a lot of uh, important uh, 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 info, uh, information. 
but with uh, a very uh, complicated and uh, sometimes crazy uh, chronology. So, in fact, uh, my, my, my idea is that uh, uh, scholars uh, in uh, uh, ancient scholars, but also Armenian scholars, uh, would be much more at uh, comfort uh, if uh, uh, Horinetsi was uh, were, uh, were, ne were never discovered, because it's uh, it's uh, out of the mainstream. It reflects in another point uh, point of view, and of course, it 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 also. Uh, 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 it it also went um, over in uh, uh, a series of philological chains that, that manipulated a little bit the, the text, but not so much. Thank you, thank you, Justo. So I, I, I want to say that uh, uh, that we are uh, we we decided to publish all uh, papers delivered uh, in this lecture series. Well, uh, 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 I, I, but I would like to make a slight different. Uh, so, of time. You have plenty of time. You prepare this text uh, for the publication. Yes. So, yes. Uh, because the lectures will uh, will proceed during this year. The whole lecture series. But uh, let, give me some time yeah. because I would like to put to the original text. Uh, and, you, have, you have time, so you are free to 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 act as you want. So we have several months, at least, okay. at least. Okay. Uh, Thank some, you. Limita some limitations in the in the text. How yes, yes, and in the word limit, we have five thousand uh, five thousand words. Okay. Mm. Ah. Professor uh, Tlena, I have yeah. a question. Uh, uh, Shushan is here. Uh, do you have a connection with uh, with the scholars within Armenia? Because there are many huge number of uh, questions that are being always discussed yes. among the armenian scholars yes 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 yes, yes. Uh, no i I'm, I'm, uh, I'm currently working on on that the problem is sometimes it's very difficult to, to keep track of the new publications uh, mm -hmm. uh, thank God now, the, thank to the Academy of Science, uh, now the older publications uh, are uh, mostly uh, uh, online. So that give me, mm -hmm. gives me the opportunity to, uh, to, to, con to consider them as a uh, slang. But in the, in the latest year, it's uh, very difficult. So I'm not going to Armenia since uh, some years for us. Uh, for, mm -hmm. for different reasons, and uh, now uh, uh, I, I think I should need uh, two or three months in order to keep uh, uh, track of the new bibliography. This is not very easy. Mm -hmm. oh, thank you. Thank you. I hope this, these problems will pass with COVID. Yes, that's, uh, mm -hmm. that's right. Yes. Uh, we are still hacking in it. It's going to be a continuous assault. We are not going to be a continuous assault. We are not going to be a More questions, colleagues? Well, um, sure. if there are no more questions, I would like to once more say thank you, Justo. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation. We are privileged and honored to have you in the series. And I think it's a very inspiring start of the series of the lectures. Uh, I will soon uh, announce the next speaker and the next lecture, uh, which will be at the end of uh, May, probably. Uh, and uh, I wish you all the best. Stay safe. Take care of yourself in these difficult times. And uh, hope you will join us for more lectures within the series. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Justo. Thank you. Thank you, Justo. Thanks a lot. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.